Hi and welcome to my garden. I've got my new handmade apron on and I'm ready to show you how I make simple oh that kookaburra. I'm um, to make simple flower arrangements using cuttings from my flower garden. So let's have a look. So I've got quite a few of these zinnia growing at the moment. We planted them about two months ago from seed and they're really blooming at the moment. So I might take a cutting of one of these. I also want some foliage around my flower. So I'm going to take some of these um, tea trees that we've got growing along the side fence. I want some bigger leaves in this flower arrangement too. So I'm going to take some of these leaves from our Tuckaroo tree, which is an Australian native tree. And then lastly, these marigolds just keep popping up everywhere. There's more over there, more over here, around our garden. So I'm just going to take a few. They make really beautiful cut flowers to display in vases. So I highly recommend them for your flower arrangements. So here's all the bits and pieces I've collected. I've got big flowers, little flowers, big leaves and small leaves. And I'm just going to put them into a jar that used to have jam in it. I like to start with the biggest leaves. And what I do is just trim them so they sort of sit nicely with the bottom at the base of the jar. And then you just cross them over like this, I'm just trying to do it one-handed. And that creates a little, I guess, little spaces for the other flowers and leaves to go into. When you're dealing with sort of large open jars like this, starting with these sort of big leafy um, plants makes it a bit easier to get the other plants to stay in place. And once I've got those base leaves in place it's much easier for me to insert the other leaves and flowers and they stay in place much better and another tip i have for you is when you're trimming your um, plants just trim a little bit at a time because it's so easy to cut too much off so just try to restrain yourself and cut a little bit at a time so i'm just going to put a little bit more of these tea trees in and I'm just trying to one-handed. Um, you should just take off some of the bottom leaves so that they don't get all mouldy at the bottom of the jar in the water. So you just pop that in. I'm just going to insert it where I can and just keep building. Actually, I'm going to put it forward. Keep building on it and everyone just sort of crosses over to each other so that the plants just stay in place and just have fun this isn't ikebana you don't have to be so precise about angles and all that so just enjoy making a nice arrangement so I'll just put another one of these in let's have a look that's looking pretty good and there we are I always seem to like my flower arrangements to be a little bit lopsided for some reason I just think it looks good but it's totally up to you and then I'm just gonna pour a bit of water in just so that the very tip of the stems are in water and there we have it a lovely little arrangement that just takes maybe 10 minutes to do if you're not too fussy and you get to enjoy the outdoors when you're inside stuck at home so I hope you can take a moment today to make yourself a little flower arrangement using things you find around your garden or just walking around. Um, you don't even have to have flowers. These arrangements look really nice just with um, green foliage. And if you would like to make yourself a apron like this, it's the moon apron because there's a circle pocket where I've got my scissors in there. It's got a cross back. Um, so if you'd like to make yourself one of these, it's this new sewing pattern and um, that's now available. It comes in three adult sizes and three kids sizes. And the link 
to purchase the pattern is on my profile page and that's at so in love or if you're watching on facebook there should be a link in the description to my shop which is at shop.soinlove.com.au i'll see you in tomorrow's video